It wasn't until I was about 26 that I went to Jules Stein and was formally diagnosed by the retinal specialist there. And he confirmed that I had retinitis pigmentosa. Yeah, that's the right one. And he said, there's no cure. <laughs> and when he said that, I thought, are you kidding me? It's a very devastating disease. Basically a death sentence on their retina, and they know it. We just found out we were going to have twins. Wooden spoon. It starts off difficulty at night, with night vision, and then it progresses. Set timer. And then the tunnel gets tighter and tighter and tighter, and then eventually vision winks out altogether. I became legally blind after the birth of our, of our daughter, our third child. I decided that retinitis pigmentosa was going to be what I was going to try to fix. The stem cell field is really in a critical moment because thanks to all the investment, especially in California, and because of CERN, there is so much science going on. Ten years of funding at $300 million a year for a total of $3 billion was approved by the voters of California uh, this last November. The funding of CERN was by a bond issue not by the right of the state every year to make a budget. We've never had stability like that in our system. Once I saw this uh, neural stem cell technology, I was blown away. I still remember looking down the microscope for the first time to see these results. And I looked down there and I saw the future. I was introduced to stem cells for Parkinson's disease. I mean, we can make almost as much brain tissue as you want from one single starting point. We could start to think about a way that we could use stem cells to treat people who had HIV. We had transplanted the human leukemia into our skid humus, let the leukemia grow up, treated with our antibody, it cured 90% of them. Even though their leukemia in their body was at the stage you were weeks away from death in humans. Living heart muscle once lost doesn't regrow spontaneously. Here we were seeing living heart muscle grow and scar resolve. It's kind of using what nature uses, but tweaking it to improve it a little bit. So my left eye was the candidate, and they injected my left eye two months ago. Three weeks ago, for the first time, I was able to make out my own writing. I hadn't done that in 10 years. I had not been able to read pen for 10 years. We have in our own bodies the cells that know how to regenerate our body. We just even know how to deliver it or improve it. We are really on the cusp of having this explosion in the whole f field of medicine. The results were nothing short of life-changing and extraordinary. A very exciting clinical product that we've designed that will be going into patients to slow down degeneration of their nerves in ALS. And in principle, you can heal the damage that's done by a heart attack within weeks. These are stem cells derived from the child, so no problem with rejection. Genetic disease fixed. What has happened in California with CIRM has made a big difference. It's moved the field forward in a way that never would have happened without it. We'll crack this disease. I mean, I'm, I'm optimistic, for sure. And I think at that moment, I just said, OK, I'm all in. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean that they're not going to make an improvement on it. But in my heart, I really feel like it's going to work.